The actual interview is going to air at 4 p.m. Eastern time, but this leaked version is already out on the internet. I watched the entire thing and it wasn't what I was expecting. It was actually way, way, way better than what I was expecting. Mark Cuban tweeted out yesterday that he was going on the Ellen DeGeneres show. And so when we saw that, we thought, okay, that's pretty cool. He said he was gonna talk about Dogecoin, but none of us really knew what to expect. What was he gonna say about it? Because in the past, we've heard him say, it's better than a lottery ticket. And he's also started accepting it for Mavs merch, which is also pretty dang cool. But when he went on the show, he actually did a few genius things. The first one is that he actually talked about Dogecoin from the standpoint of a parent. Mark Cuban's son put $30 in it when it was at around a penny. Now it's gone up massively since then. Hopefully, maybe he saw the video we posted on it when it was at half a penny where I was telling people, hey, Dogecoin has the potential to do some incredible things. I was trying to tell as many people as possible, make sure, by the way, you're subscribing with notifications on because you're not going to want to miss some of these big updates, some of these big predictions that are coming soon. The things Mark Cuban did during this interview are definitely underrated, though. He talked about how he's accepting it for Mavs merch, and he also did another thing that I thought was awesome, which is he's trying to get Ellen to now start accepting Dogecoin as well. And the awesome part is Ellen seemed very, very, very open to it. I believe we're going to see Ellen start accepting it, which means celebrities, a lot of people that Ellen has connections with are going to be exposed to Dogecoin for the first time. This could actually have some pretty dang awesome ripple effects down the line. At one point in the interview, Ellen even stated that she believes it's just going to keep going up and up. And of course, she did clarify that it's not necessarily a guaranteed thing that's going to happen. But the truth is, she's probably right. Dogecoin has a decent chance to keep going up and up and up as more celebrities start coming on, as more fun things happen, as as people start to realize that Dogecoin is not just a fun currency. On top of being fun, it's also a legitimately great cryptocurrency. The Dogecoin transaction fees are currently five times lower than Ethereum when it comes to per million transacted. That's an important stat that a lot of people should definitely know. Dogecoin deserves to be at the top there. And as it continues to grow, as more people start to come on, it's going to be so much fun to watch. Make sure you're subscribing with notifications on. You're not going to want to miss out on this. Come join in on the fun. Be a part of it. This is the number one Dogecoin channel on all of YouTube. We've been talking about Dogecoin going here since the beginning since it was less than half a penny so this is the place to be we know our stuff we know our facts we know our numbers and there's going to be a lot of new people who watch that own interview and decide hey i'm gonna go on youtube right now and search dogecoin welcome to the community you're gonna love it here mark cuban deserves a lot of credit for all the things that he's doing for dogecoin right now making some awesome stuff happen not only accepting it but encouraging others to accept it and making the movement grow more so shout out to mark cuban for that one question a lot of people have right now is will we see a spike from this ellen mark cuban interview right now ellen gets around 1.5 or so million viewers. It's been as high as 2.5 million over the past year. It went down a little bit this year. So hopefully this episode will bring those ratings up. Hopefully a lot of us will go on and watch it and we'll make those numbers go higher. That's what we want to see. It's Mark Cuban, it's Dogecoin. Two things that are definitely very, very good for ratings. Every single show out there should be doing stuff like this. Talking about Dogecoin, it will get your ratings up. It will increase the amount of fun you're having. Two very, very positive things right there. Both of them are good. But as far as seeing a spike, it probably won't be anything too crazy. We will see most likely a lot of new people searching about Dogecoin and coming into the community. It's going to happen slowly. It's going to be a trickle from this interview. It's not going to be a big spike right away, but this is definitely a hugely important thing because the Ellen Show reaches a lot of new audience people, a lot of new people who have never heard of Dogecoin before, and it could have a pretty awesome impact in bringing new people in to the moon. I'm Matt Wuss. This is Faust End, and I will see you in the next video.